So my name is Narayan Venkat. I'm the Vice President of Business and Systems Business Unit. And uh, we'll go through a fair bit of detail today. The obligatory forward-looking statements. Uh, if I don't say this, I would be in trouble with our lawyers. So uh, forward-looking statements, some are, may or may not materialize. OK, with that said, I'm sure that many of you have heard of Western Digital. Uh, we are a multi-billion dollar company with a global presence with about 70,000 employees across the globe, uh, R&D, uh, manufacturing, sales offices, et cetera. So uh, uh, our hope today uh, in this sort of three hour packed session is to give you a broad brush view of who we are as a company and then perhaps take the opportunity to dive a little deeper. Um, given that we are such a massive company, there's innovation going across a variety of different product lines. We, in the three hours allocated, we're going to dive deep only in a few areas. So uh, feel free to ask questions. Um, I'm going to kick started, and you get to see me twice. So we're going to go into more details of that, right? So, um, <clears throat> so the data center landscape or the data landscape is evolving. So before you roll your eyes and say, OK, Narayan, I've heard this before, uh, bear with me because I want you to understand this and look through the lens of Western Digital so that you get a better sense for how we're thinking of the market. So <clears throat> the way we look at data, we look at data through two lenses. Right? One is the big data lens, where big data is essentially mined for intelligence. And the majority of that big data is essentially found in the core. When we say core, core data centers. And then we see an emergence of new types of data, which is fast data, where uh, latency and uh, quick decision making is of the essence. And uh, that's being driven by the explosion of endpoints. And if you guys have followed us in the market today, and we've talked to many analysts, both research as well as financial analysts, we've talked about our business in the core. We've talked about the growing business in the, from the endpoints. But we see a new area that's emerging, which, is, which we call edge. Um, what do I mean by edge? Uh, the edge is a new form uh, where we're starting to see a tremendous amount of innovation happening. And uh, research shows that, or at least there's an expectation that 75% of data in the enterprise is actually going to be generated outside the core data center and in the edge. So uh, as Western Digital, we've got presence across the entire spectrum, starting from the core to the edge and through to the endpoints. And then we're going we're gonna to cover that in more detail as we go through. All right, so many of you have focused, uh, or at least sort of heard, uh, what we have done over the last several years. We've made some strategic acquisitions. We've acquired SanDisk. We've acquired AGST. We made some targeted sort of smaller acquisitions including Tejal and up there. And so we now have built a pretty broad portfolio of uh, products. And uh, the technologies that we have acquired, the technologies we have assimilated, and the innovations that we have done has given us a very strong portfolio from NAND flash all the way up to systems. And uh, perhaps you haven't thought of Western Digital as a full line supplier of systems. And uh, our hope is today we'll go in through the details of where we're innovating from uh, embedded flash all the way up to systems. Uh, what it has done uh, to us is uh, given us the ability to actually play in all of these markets. We talked about core, edge, and then the endpoints. And it keeps blinking on me. <laughs> all right. And so uh, the key thing for us, uh, if, if we did one thing today, we want to leave you with one thought. Um, that is, we are building an infrastructure that underpins uh, not just you know, storage, but data. We, that underpins the infrastructure for delivering full data solutions today in the core, to the edge, and into the endpoints. OK, so we're coming up on 50 years. Believe it or not, we're going to be 50 years <coughs> probably in the next what, a year or year and a half. And uh, innovation is in our DNA. Uh, we've got over 13,800 patents uh, across a variety of different technologies. 
And uh, we're proud of that. And that has essentially helped us build a very strong product portfolio in the storage industry. So if you count the, every bit and byte that's stored in your cell phones, I was talking to Chris earlier and showing his nice fancy camera and, um, and, and smartphone. You think about every bit, byte, bit and byte that's stored in your cell phone, right? in your compact flashcards, in your SSDs, in your storage systems. Uh, guess what percentage of the world's data is stored on Western digital products? I'm not allowed to say that my, my lawyers will quarantine me if I were to say that, but mm. you're allowed to you know, guess. Oh, Take a guess. 30%. I would, I would go up the high, closer to 6. 32%. Oh. <laughs> Ray, give me the benefit of the doubt here. So much, 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 much higher, right? So uh, we're proud to say that, and I can't give you the numbers, but a substantial portion of the data, of the world's data is actually stored on Western digital products, right? So, so what you're seeing here is an evolution of this company that is not just a storage components player anymore, right? We are partaking in a variety of different systems and solutions that touch every part of our lives today. Okay, so pretty broad, broad portfolio, as I just said, and obviously we will not have the time to go through a lot of these, but we're gonna start with the NAND portfolio, uh, you know, from what I call silicon all the way up to systems. We've spent, uh, you've certainly known about us in the HDD market space. We've invested, we made some strategic investments in enterprise and, H and uh, enterprise SSDs in the areas of NVMe. And then uh, we'll talk quite a bit about um, NVMe All Flash and NVMe Over Fabric Storage. So I've got my competitors. Luca is going to go into more details on what innovations. That's the lovely multi-rise tower that you're seeing that's going to be you know, created in San Jose. Uh, we're going to talk quite a bit about that. And then uh, Clint Ludeman is going to give us a perspective in terms of what we're doing as far as the enterprise SSD market. And then uh, my colleagues in the data center systems business will come back and sort of round it up with uh, the innovations that um, uh, you know, we're after in this systems market. <clears throat> okay, so just a quick point to note. Um, the, I, I mentioned about fast and big data. So one of the areas that we believe that we have tremendous leadership is in the areas of 3D uh, NAND flash technology. That's the underpinning and that's the core for a variety of different products that range from the consumer market space to the enterprise and the OEM market space. And we're the first, we're the leader in the industry from a storage perspective to deliver 96 layer 3D NAND technology. And then as a, which was uh, I think released in 2017. And uh, as of last year, we delivered the highest density in terms of 1.33 terabit die for QLC NAND technology. So there's a significant amount of innovation that's happening in this space, and we are driving that. Uh, but that is not to say that we aren't pushing the envelope in terms of HDDs, because HDDs continues to play a key role in the future of data storage technology. So our Helium technology, which has been around for the better part of many, many years, we are in the fifth generation of it, was shipped over 30 million drives, and we continue to innovate in the areas of SMR technology and enterprise assist. So we're going to have Clint talk quite a bit more uh, on energy assist, and we're going to have Clint talk about that in terms of the products that are coming, what's on the truck, and what's coming in the future as well. OK? So you will hear a lot about this today. When we talk about silicon systems, what do I mean by that? Right? This is one of our core advantages the way I see it, right? which is we have the ability to innovate at all layers of the stack, right? So perhaps you know, 10 years ago, your perspective on Western Digital is just a component company. Today, we're innovating at various layers of the stack, right? That is not just from a hardware perspective or a process technology perspective, but all the way up, up the stack in terms of software. And so um, starting from semiconductor wafers, which is why we say you know, we take silicon, and we build systems all the way up. So we have technology in every part of the stack that we own, and we continue to innovate. And one of our advantages, we've got you know, engineers in the systems and the firmware division that are sitting right next to 
engineers in the process technology division, right? So that gives us a tremendous advantage to actually deliver systems that deliver great performance at great economics.